Hi, this is Captain Pete, Vision Quest Sport Fishing. Today, we're going to talk about the VQ, or Very Quick Knot. It's for tying lead core to monofilament. I did this same knot video several years ago, and it's the same knot. The knot has not changed, but what has changed is the Stealth Core from Fish USA. This newer Stealth Core product has a more durable sheath and is definitely more fade resistant in the sun. Okay folks, here is the knot. First I'm going to take my monofilament, okay, and I'm going to put two back-to-back -back overhand knots in this. One, two. And I'm going to cinch that up very tight. Usually I use my teeth just to pull those two knots very tight. If I'm using less than 20 pound, I do three overhand knots. Then I'll take my lead. And I'm going to twizzle the end of this here to loosen the lead from the sheath. And I'm going to push that through. I'm going to get about three inches of lead out of there. Break it off. Slide the sheath back up. I'm going to retrieve my monofilament. I'm right-handed. So I'm going to crisscross these right here. Right here. And I'm going to bring the mono underneath once. And around. Like this. And then I'm going to go around and under and through the middle with the monofilament. So basically we have this. Basically a square knot at that point. I'm going to slide these together. It's kind of slow and cinch those up. I'm going to give that a very good pull and a tug. And if it does not break here, it's not going to fail you. Then I'm going to take the rabbit ears and I'm going to cut those off. Basically, that is the VQ Very Quick Knot. Now we're going to see how fast we can tie this knot. Ready, set, go. Done. Okay, folks, here is the knot. First, I'm going to take my monofilament, okay, and I'm going to put two back to back overhand knots in this. One, two. And I'm going to cinch that up very tight. Usually I'll use my teeth just to pull those two knots very tight. If I'm using less than 20 pound, I do three overhand knots. Then I'll take my lead and I'm going to twizzle the end of this here to loosen the lead from the sheath. And I'm going to push that through. I'm going to get about three inches of lead out of there. Break it off. Slide the sheath back up. I'm going to retrieve my monofilament. I'm right handed. So I'm going to crisscross these right here, right here, and I'm going to bring the mono underneath once and around like this, and then I'm going to go around and under and through the middle with the monofilament. So basically we have this, basically a square knot at that point. I'm going to slide these together, it's kind of slow, and cinch those up. I'm going to give that a very good pull and a tug, and if it does not break here, it's not going to fail you. 